Hi everyone from wherever you're joining us from anywhere around the world. My name is Chris Hansen and I'm a senior solutions consultant at Adobe and I'm based here in Sydney, Australia. And today we're going to explore something that completely changes how you think about video editing on the go. I actually have the privilege to be able to demo you Premiere on the mobile. And it brings the same professional power that you know from the desktop into a mobile first experience. And that means that you can cut with precision and layer unlimited tracks, apply cinematic color and be able to share that instantly, all from the device that already exists in your pocket. But what makes this app truly stand out is how it blends powerful editing tools with built in AI to help you get started faster, stay creative and make each project completely your own. Now I'm going to take you through how Firefly generative AI can help you generate unique visuals, but also give you pro quality sound effects and even voiceovers. And you'll just see how much you can do without ever touching a computer. So over the next 15 minutes, I'll take you through a full workflow, starting with editing, then exploring the creative AI tools, enhancing your sound, and finally showing you how fast, free, and focused the experience really is. So let's dive in and see how powerful Premiere on mobile really is. Now, as you can see, we've got Premiere downloaded on my phone. Now let's click into that. And you can see here, it's very much set up with the intention of getting started quickly. You can automatically select new from photo library, new from files, or even a blank project. And there's even generative AI functionality in here, like generating an image or image to video. You can do that straight from here. But I've prepared a project that I'm gonna take you through. And let's go into that right here. Now here's my project. Now, as you can see really quick, uh, I can adjust uh, the viewer panel here if I wanted to see more of the video or more of the tracks. By the way, it has unlimited tracks. So you can add as many video tracks, audio tracks, titles and transitions and whatever you want in order to get the best result for your video. So as I scrub through here, um, it, you can just see how buttery smooth this is. It's, it's such a joy to be able to edit like this on, on a phone. Um, I love being able to just pinch and zoom. As you can see here, I'm pinching and zooming uh, to be able to expand out my timeline really, really easily. And I can scrub down and keep scrubbing across just as you see fit. But also it gives you the very basic control. So you've got play there. You've even got uh, skip by frame. Now notice here it's skipping uh, by each frame. I can even skip between clips here with, by pressing this button. And Premiere for mobile is designed to be extremely intuitive. So what I mean by that is if I click anywhere, let's just say, for example, this clip here, I get options in order to do whatever I want to that clip. So for example, I could split that clip down the bottom here. I could delete it, duplicate it, replace. It's just, it's very easy to navigate through these controls in order to get what I want. So for example, I might want to take this clip here and duplicate that and make a copy of it to put at the end. Cause I know in this shot, not only does it soar up, but it comes back down. So I'm going to duplicate that clip there, click hold. And now I'm just going to drag it to the end of my video. Now I've got that clip now very much a non-destructive timeline here. So as you can see here, it fades out at the end. I don't have that clip, but I'm going to click on that transition and just turn that off for now. Okay, really easily transitions are almost part of the clips. You can just select the fade out transition right from there. Now I really like this shot, but it's actually going in reverse for me. I want to end on this shot. So I want to be able to reverse it. So what I might do here is just navigate to where it says reverse. I'll click on that. It's going to reverse that clip for me and completely switch it around the other way. So that means now I can have this really nice shot of the drone coming down. So if we have a look here, there we go. Lovely. Um, what I'm going to do is just make a cut because it's very much a long shot and 
you know, these days on social, people's attention spans are just a little bit, um, you know, I've got to capture that attention span really quickly. So I'm going to start from when the drone is going down around about, around about here. And I'm just going to navigate and split that clip. I'm going to click the clip that I don't need and just hit delete. It's as simple as that. You've just made your first edit on Premiere Mobile. Um, now what I might do is, it's it's a lovely shot here. It's a lovely, you know, um, it's a nice video. I can see there's a lot happening here. But what about if I needed to add some music to this? I wanted to make it a little bit more engaging for my audience. Well, I can do that. Uh, if I click out, don't have anything selected, I can actually go to music and audio. And Premiere Mobile gives you access to Adobe Stock Music. And this is provided by Epidemic Sound and Jamendo Music, which is fantastic. So in here, I might want to click on soundtracks. Now, what I love about this is I can select any one of these, but I can actually search via a mood or a genre, perhaps. So in this instance, I might go, let's go with uh, dreamy, groovy. Uh, we'll go with uh, relaxing as well. Now, what I love about this is what it's going to do is it's going to tailor my search results based on those those mood selections that I picked. So uh, let's have a look at genres now. I might want to go electronic. Okay, so I have I have I have my results here, so I can hit play and, and preview those. That sounds that sounds okay. And I might want to go with this particular soundtrack. So I'm going to add that to my my video edit, and we'll just let it do its thing. There we go. And you can see there it's added it to my edit here perfectly uh, but also there's you know we've got the, the music goes a little bit further than the video but that's as easy as click holding and dragging back and really simply all I need to do now is just add what we call an audio fade so I can either fade it in or I can fade it out so we know that we won't get that really tough that hard stop on the video and you can see really easily how it's added that fade for me okay I think what we need to do now is to add a title for this video. So what I'm going to do here is scrub to the start of my video. I'm going to click on titles and captions. Let's just click on title here and give it a title. Now I know this was shot in uh, Hamilton Island in the Whit Sundays. If anyone hasn't been, you should get yourself there in Australia. It's a beautiful part of the world. Which Sundays, Queensland. Now I can do a couple of things, right? First of all, if I pinch, I can rotate it, but I can also also make it smaller and larger, just like that. If I grab that handle, it'll always snap to the horizontal plane. And now I can just position it where I want to. Um, I can change the style of this if I wanted to. You can see here there's a number of styles that I can choose from, um, or even the font. Now, we give you access to Adobe fonts, of course, that you can choose from. You can search fonts as well uh, in here. So I might want to choose Futura, for example. No, I don't really like that one. Let's stick to Arial. So you can see how you can easily change your font there, but also I can change the color if I wanted to, the text color itself, or even the background color. So if I wanted to come in here, I can choose a custom color, or if I have a hex code, I can type that code in and go from there. Really, really simple to do. There's even layout forms here, so you can left align it, right align it, or uh, center align it and give the text width uh, some more width if you wanted to go from there. Um, now, let's go through and have a look at some of these shots. You know, this is more of a travel destination, right? So I want to actually add something in here that's, you know, for the social viewer in mind. And I'm going to generate a sticker here. So if I click out, I'm going to go into videos and images. You'll see here, you can choose from your photo library. Adobe Stock, you can generate an image using Adobe Firefly. You can even generate a sticker and even image to video as well. 
Well, from this instance, let's go generate a sticker. And all I need to do now is type in a prompt. So what is the sticker going to be? In this instance, I want to generate a pin on a map. And now I can choose the content type and the aspect ratio. This will use generative credits in order to do that. And let's see what we come up with from there. The beauty of this is it gives you access to generative AI right at your fingertips that you can do inside of Premiere. What I love is that I don't need to leave this application to go anywhere else, to do anything else. I just stay in the one spot in order to do everything that I need to, to create a video. So let's have a look at what we got here. I actually don't mind that. Actually, that's probably better. I might use that sticker right there. So now I have that sticker. Uh, I can actually, I might stack it, um, click, hold and drag on top of the, where the title, the text comes up. Uh, now I'm going to pinch to zoom. It's created a really nice one. I really like that actually. And there we go. We've got, we've just generated a sticker. We've generated some text. Hit play on that. But what it does is it actually has a bit of a hard cut. So uh, what we can do to that now is add animation. Let's say we wanted it to slide in from the start. We can click on that. And then for the outro, we can also click slide as well. So let's go back and actually view what we just did. So there you go. It's going to slide in. In fact, let's do the same for the text. So we'll go slide and outro slide. See how easy this is to navigate. Like I'm all I'm doing is just finding the elements and clicking on what I need to in order to get the result that I want. It's very contextual as well, uh, which which makes this a lot faster to be able to get videos done quicker. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to color grade some of these clips. So for example, I might go to this shot right here. It's lacking a bit of color. I mean, I'm just going to click on that clip right there. Now we have something here called looks. Now looks can actually come from Lightroom. These are Lightroom presets. What I can do is I can select any of these if I want to, and it just changes the look of that video, right? Uh, if I wanted to just use any of these, I could, but let me just undo that and go back. Uh, I'm going to click on adjust though, because this is where I can get a little bit deeper. What I might want to do here is just play around with the exposure a bit. Uh, let's just make some slight adjustments. I might want to make this pop. I get that request all the time. Make it pop for me, please. So I'm going to add a little bit of vibrance to it. There we go. Maybe just a little bit of saturation. You get the idea. Now, if I wanted to apply this to every clip in the video, all I have to do is click this one button here. Color settings have been applied to all the clips now. So now whatever I just did on that clip will now be pushed to every single clip in this video, which makes it super quick and intuitive to do. Now I showed you with Firefly how you can generate an image and a sticker, but what about audio as well? Well in here under music and audio, obviously you can navigate to soundtracks, but you can record your voiceover straight into the application itself. Uh, or even sound effects, you can browse sound effects that were obviously coming through from Adobe stock. I can search for them in here, but wouldn't it be great? if you could generate your own sound effect. Well, you can in here with generate sound effect. All you need to do is describe what sound effect you want. So in this instance, I might say, generate a wind sound because there's a drone flying up in the sky, right? So I might say wind in sky. And notice here, it says perform the sound, which is optional, of course. And this means that you can perform the sound with your own voice. If I wanted to perform my own sound effect, I can do that right here. And it'll attach itself to this clip with the prompt that I chose earlier. Let's go.
Okay, there you go. Now it's done that for me. It shows me a recording of my sound. And now all I need to do is generate that with the sound recording and the prompt. And then we will get a result in order to uh, <coughs> in order to see if it works. We actually get four results here, and then I can select them and see which one works best. I'm going to click on this one because I don't mind it. I'm going to add that sound effect, and you can see it adds it directly to my timeline. So that's really easy in order to add that type of sound effect from here. Finally, if I had a voice recording in here, I can use captions and transcription inside of Premiere Mobile in order to have captions for this particular video. Now, if you wanted to change the aspect ratio for this particular video to all the different types of aspect ratios that are in social media these days, and there are a lot, uh, you can click on the top button at the top here and you'll notice here it's automatically gone to 16 by 9 because that's how the video was captured but uh, i can choose either 9 by 16 from here or 4 by 3 you don't have to remember these aspect ratios we help you do it for you we do it all for you so by just clicking on any of these you can go ahead and uh, select what aspect ratio you want and it'll adjust accordingly as you can see here now if i wanted to share that out you can do that from here but also what's great about premiere mobile is the fact that you can export it to premiere desktop so if you ever need to go in and do some advanced editing on your video or even a quick rough cut on your phone you've done that take it to premiere desktop and then you can finish it off but right here, I can choose the resolution, the frame rate, and the quality, and then I can go ahead and export that video. So what we've just seen today is more than a mobile editing application. Premiere Mobile gives you professional tools that used to require a full studio setup, but now they fit in the palm of your hand. So think about it. You can capture a moment, edit in 4K HDR, you can add cinematic color, lay a sound, generate unique visuals, and even publish to any platform. And you can do this without ever leaving your phone. And with AI working alongside you, the barriers between idea and finished video get smaller and smaller. This is about more than just speed or convenience. It's about freedom, the freedom to create anywhere, the freedom to turn inspiration into action instantly. The freedom to tell your stories your own way. So the question isn't, can you edit on mobile anymore? The question is, what will you create when the power of Premiere is always with you? The future of video editing is already here and it's in your pocket. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you got something out of it. And I really hope to see you again in the future. And happy mobile editing on Premiere.